Okay. Hello, I'm Catherine Gilmore, assistant head teacher at the Westgate School in Slough. I was recently selected to go to Brazil as part of Leaders Quest as a future leader. Uh, when I was in Brazil, I was amazed by the can-do attitude of the people and the inspiration of the business people who in particular want people with transferable skills and in particular a willingness to learn new skills for a future world where we don't know what the jobs are going to be, we don't know yet what the problems may be, and neither has the technology been invented. So do you, do, was your observation then, being in Brazil, um, that the young people themselves have a very different attitude, or was it more that the business leaders have a different attitude towards the young people? Both. The business leaders, even when they're very successful, all want to put something back into their local communities and help, particularly education. And the young people, uh, their aspirations are as high as they want them to be. Mm. It doesn't matter if they're living in a favela, which is a slum, they still feel they can become a teacher or a doctor or an accountant. There's no level on their aspirations at all. So, so, so a lot of the young people are not necessarily just waiting for the school teacher to tell them what their career might be or or a government jobs program or something they're, they're kind of looking at TV looking at the internet and finding ideas for themselves they are and I know from the um, Prime Minister's global ambassadors the 18 year olds who went to Brazil India and China their message was loud and clear that our young people don't work hard enough they don't work hard enough for their studies they do a few hours they don't do the home study whereas in the other countries they are working really hard and it's not just that the labor is cheaper in other countries the skills and the talents and the willingness to learn are actually there as well okay that's great thank you